So the Charlotte Hornets played the Atlanta Hawks last night and ultimately won 116 to 110. And my takeaways are I just want to get some love to Mark Williams. Mark Williams has been phenomenal for the Charlotte Hornets and he's continuing to develop. He's going to be a phenomenal defensive presence. I'm not going to lie. Don't be surprised if he's up there in the conversations of defensive play of the year, either this year or in the next few years, because he is that guy. I love him and Nick Richards also in this game. P.J. Washington, I don't know what got into him, but he was absolutely a monster in the paint. When you think of P.J. Washington, you think of a stretch four, but no. Bro was only one for six from three in this game. And from that stat line, you would have thought that P.J. had a bad game. No, bro. He was a monster in the paint. I want to see that more from P.J. Washington. Don't relegate yourself as strictly a three-point shooter. Get in the paint, man. I love that. I absolutely love that. And I love that Steve... Clifford is staggering the minutes with LaMelo Ball and Terry Rozier. Terry Rozier, let's not forget who he is. He is one of the most dynamic guards in this league, bro. He's so crafty. Man, the moves he was pulling off on the Atlanta Hawks, man. Oh, my God. It was beautiful to watch. He does have a hint. I'm talking about like a teaspoon full of Kyrie Irving in this game. I mean, he does. And I gave a lot of flack to Gordon Hayward in my Charlotte Hornets video, but I'm not going to lie. I like what I saw tonight. I like that the shot attempts were down and the assists were up. We need to see that more out of Gordon Hayward. He only shot eight times. He went four of eight from the field, but he had seven assists. That's impressive. If Gordon Hayward can continue to be a playmaker for this Charlotte Hornets team and embrace the young guys, that's going to give a different element to this whole squad. I really love that. I think that's going to really catapult the Charlotte Hornets team to the next level. Because when you think of Gordon Hayward, you think of a scorer. So if Gordon Hayward is coming off screens, the defender is automatically looking for him to score. But, hey, he's passing it to Nick Richard. He's passing it to P.J. Washington, who's driving in the paint. He's passing it to Mark Williams for the lob. I love what I saw out of you, Gordon Hayward. Keep it up, brother. Hey, y'all laughed at me when I said that the Charlotte Hornets can indeed be any team in the East. Now, of course, the Atlanta Hawks are on the lower end of that. But when it comes to the Hawks, I'm not going to lie. You guys did not solve your problem by firing Nate McMillan. You guys did not solve your problem by bringing in Quinn Snyder. The problem is still in your starting lineup. And you know who it is? It's DeAndre Hunter. Listen, here at NBA Attic TV, I do not hold back. When I see something, I'm going to speak on it. DeAndre Hunter, you have been the same player for the last four years. You have not took that leap. The Atlanta Hawks are waiting for you to take that leap so they can go to the next level. That's what they're waiting on. But you are holding them back. At this point, Sadiq Bey is better than you. At this point... Jalen Johnson is better than you. I'll say it. And if your argument is, wait, NBA, yo, he provides the defense. Like, what are you talking about? All right, so look at the defensive rating for last year, right? Him and Trey Young have the same defensive rating. So you're telling me Trey Young must be a defensive stopper at the point guard position, right? So I went and looked at defensive win shares just to double check it, just to make sure I wasn't bugging. And it's crazy because... Trey Young has a higher defensive win share than DeAndre Hunter. If I was the GM, I would have made this move two years ago. I saw the signs. I saw it. In this game, DeAndre Hunter took nine shots and made four of them. That's what y'all paying 20 mil a year for? In this game, DeAndre Hunter fouled out. Is this what you are paying 20 mil a year for? My message to the Atlanta Hawks front office, please go get Kyle Kuzma. You need a winner at that forward position because you will go nowhere. You have DeAndre Hunter holding you back. You're not going to get any type of long-term success with DeAndre Hunter in your lineup. Troy Young is ready to win right now. But if the Atlanta Hawks, once again, have a bad season, if they underperform, it's going to be like, oh, Troy Young is holding his team back. Oh, Troy Young is a coach killer. Oh, Troy Young is a bad teammate. Y'all need some accountability in that front office. But besides that, when it comes to the Atlanta Hawks, shout out to Jalen Johnson. This may be his breakout season. Definitely a favorite for most improved. And when it comes to AJ Griffin, Quinn Snyder, you're playing with my boy and I do not like that. He could really impact the Atlanta Hawks in a positive way. 
play. I mean, I saw it last year in his rookie season when Nate McMillan was playing him. Only giving him nine minutes of PT is crazy, Quinn Snyder. At that point, just assign him to hand out the Gatorades because that's crazy. That's crazy. If I'm being honest, when looking at the Eastern Conference, I can't think of a team that's not trying to make it to the playoffs this year. That's not trying to have some type of winning season. But with that being said, guys, let me know what you think of this whole Atlanta Hawks thing and my gripe with DeAndre Hunter. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, comment down below, and turn on post notifications to not miss a single video. And I'll see y'all next video.